Hello dear all, today I would like to tell you about the structure of a typical clause. Now what is a clause? It is, it is a simple sentence. And a clause in English, in the declarative mood, always consists of subject plus predicate. So the subject is what the sentence, what the clause is about. It's usually a person, sometimes an object or another entity, an idea. And the predicate this is what we say about the subject in the clause, in the simple sentence. So in the sentence, I'm going to the swimming pool, I'm going to the swimming pool, the subject is I, so the sentence is about me, and the predicate describes my action, my intended action in this case. So, so I'm going to the swimming pool. <laughs> I wish I could. Were it not for the coronavirus, I could. And another example, the students are listening to the lecture. So the students is the subject, so this is who the clause is about. And are listening to the lecture is the predicate, so it describes their activity. But predicates not only describe activities, they may also describe states. For example, the students are tired, so the verb phrase are tired, that's the predicate, which describes their student's current condition, right? And, some, and it can describe also some other uh, relationships and, and other uh, properties of the subjects, such as experiencing something, such as possessing something. For example, the girl has a dog. So the subject here is a girl, the girl, that's what the sentence is about, and has a dog. Now here it describes neither an action nor a property, but merely possession. So has a dog is a verb phrase. The function of the verb phrase in the sentence is that of predicate. And the whole sentence can be, can be defined as a clause. So clause is a simple sentence which consists of subject, that is a noun phrase, because a noun phrase answers the question who or what. And a predicate, the, the verb phrase, which describes a most often action, but not always, states, relationships, possessions, properties, and so on. And during the next video I'll talk about more complex sentences, which consist of two or even more clauses. So, bye for now.